Okay, I've got it on, all right? Huh? I've got it on, okay? Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to please gather, we're going to make a semicircle, and we're going to ask you not. Testing, testing. Hello, everyone. If I could ask you to please gather, we're going to make a semicircle, and we're going to ask you not to block the video camera so that um, they have a good video. So please come all the way over this side. You can come all the way around. Um, and come as close as you can so you can hear. There's lots of room over here. Nobody wants to be here. Thank you. So I'm going to ask you that you uh, get comfortable as much as you can. I know it's chilly. Um, it's kind of a beautiful day, though. We need the rain. Terry Allen, and I was a customer of Henry's, of Robert's. I got to be through the name change. And I'm also a Lutheran pastor, which may seem odd to some of you, but uh, we had many great discussions together. We had a good time. I spent a lot more time in the shop than he spent cutting my hair sometimes. And um, many of you have had those wonderful discussions also. And um, the good times of sharing. And I had the privilege of being able to surprise him a little bit because he didn't know that a Christian pastor could uh, discuss these things and not be all upset. And that he could hear some of the things I believed in. Lo and behold, traded language and words and thoughts and a lot of love. So that's who I am. And I'm going to get to hear more about each of you. So let's begin. Blessed be the one who comforts us in all our sorrows so that we can comfort others in their sorrows. We've set aside a little bit of time here for sharing. And I would like to invite you to come. You don't have to come and share. But because of the wonderful wealth of memories that are here, I'm going to ask you to choose your favorite one, your favorite shortest one. And then after our time, after this time together, we will, um, you can continue sharing with one another, of course, afterwards too, because there's a lot to say and a lot to tell about Henry's wonderful life. And so, um, we're going to just invite you to come and. Um, uh, he was come here. I feel we born a day before, day apart. We be covers about <laughs> what we did and all that business, but. Hi, my name's Lou, Lou Corona, and I had a chance to get uh, Robert, you know Robert for about two years, and. Um, Every time I got to see him and spend some time with him, it was always, uh, but if I was going to say anything on a bottom line level, that was the, the main thing that I picked up from him. They is the best love that he had for, for all of us. And uh, so I came for that reason, just to share that one thing. This love that he had. There's Robert Hay. Robert, I still call him Robert. But, uh, I've known him about 15 years in... Uh, there's one thing I can say about Robert Glasgow. Bad, nasty word about anybody. Never have I ever heard him say a bad word about anybody. And I think he was a great, great guy. And someday I hope to see him again and shake hands. Andy Fellows. And I went to him after. I had to get approval from my Chicago hair cutter because I won't just let just anybody cut my hair. But we immediately started talking about anything and everything. We had a lot to share. The one thing recently in my life that made me think I should share this is the love of animals and this beautiful Siamese cat. And there were other cats. Amazing. 
would make the cat food himself. So anybody who loves animals, that's the one thing. Robert, to that's share. Robert. Yes. That's Robert Hay, right there with the glasses. Henry, thank you. Definitely Bob. Uh, seven years, my name's Mike. One thing I would add is his incredible sense of humor. I was actually joking with Bruce that maybe we'd come here and find out. He just wanted to see who'd come to his funeral. <laughs> but uh, I'm still waiting, Robert, wherever you are. But uh, incredible sense of humor, fabulous person. And uh, really showed me what it means to be a friend. So thank you, and I believe you're right here right now. Yeah. Vitelli, uh, I've been seeing Robert or Henry uh, probably every six or seven Saturdays since 1980. Maybe one of his longest clients. And, um, I uh, didn't know him too well on the outside, but um, I got to say, you know, more than just going to get my hair cut, I was always looking forward to the talks we would have, the name thing, and just all the inspiration the man had. And um, he really came from a good place. He was just full of love and happiness. And um, I'm definitely going to miss him dearly. That's Peter Katz. That's the son of a bitch with your phone. Celebration of Henry's life. God revealed himself through Henry. God is great. God created the word and anointed Henry, revealing himself through Henry's insights. Henry's connection with what is invisible to us through sight. He created the word and the alphabet. Wow. Oh, that's Roberta. We all live weird that in real time. Really awesome. There's Robert in the back That's Robert Hay. In many That's for sure and simple, Robert Hay. That's Robert Hay. He was able to, to describe he's in detail his, his our up of our individual psyche produced by it's our man. And to <coughs> son, I say, early son, I love you. Here's Heather standing next to Robert Failer <coughs> in the background. The Robert Failer, then that's the guy that's at. With the hat. Robert Jr. with the other hat, the white the hat. Front. The dark hat is Robert Failer. That's the one who trained Robert. That's Katrina. Uh, the beginning of the technique. The world. Now some food. But the best part was playing frisbee with Robert in every. Mesmer. Where's Felice? I didn't see her in the pictures. Uh, his That's ex-wife? His ex-wife. Yeah, his ex-wife, I guess. Everyone says she's, like, moved to, uh... Hello, my name is Bruce. Uh, I met Henry about three years ago. Uh, being in the music industry, um, I remember back many years ago, he used to advertise okay. in Music Connection magazine, uh, Long Hair Rocks. So, many years later, Little did I know he'd become one of my best friends. <clears throat> I feel honored that I was able to be introduced to some of Henry's closer friends, also Phil and Holly, and actually was uh, on the phone with them uh, near the end. And uh, for whatever reason, I was pretty much there at his last breath. Here's Phil Kanakis. Um, I do entertainment all the time, and I, I get up and speak. Baba G. That's, ba that's Baba G. That's yeah, that's Baba words. G. He channels but Baba G. You all know how he is. Bill Panakis right uh, there. In the tiny jacket. That in my life. He gave me the name of Rio, so I've got a postcard up in my bathroom so I remember who I am, <laughs> what my name is every morning. And I'll definitely miss him. And um, yearly, uh, we'll stay in touch for sure. And, uh, Henry even had a chance to meet my parents, and uh, what an impact that he left with them. Uh, did some healing with my parents, and uh, Henry and I we spoke at least a couple times a week. And it took me a long time before I could trim my hair before, but uh, he'd always convince me that if. 
I would let him cut Gloria, my hair that he Rini, Catherine, would make so fuller. And I, I always thought, how could he do this when there's less hair? And oh, that's Martin to the right. Martin one day, I trusted him, husband. and he actually did cut my no, hair. Therese. Besides Therese, just the length. So, her married um, name. And I became a believer to a chef in his haircuts. In Chicago, <laughs> So, uh, I thank you all uh, for having me uh, here and put that part of this and, and, and got and, uh, the sound system home. running and everything. Yep, it was Heather. There's Hurley That's next Hurley to Roberta. That's Hurley right there with the bad haircut. Does he have any hair pirates. He's always he looks never sees too many. He's always kind of comfortable. Robert Jr. Like, the the light, light hat. hat. Is that a wig too? So it makes him look like Robert. We're going to actually give um, Henry the last word. So. We're going to give Henry the last word. Just to give you an idea of what we've got here, the, there's three messages here uh, that were recorded by Michael many years ago. Was it Michael? Henry says it's very sexy. Mike Stevens. If it doesn't just hang there. So it has to be. Thank you, George. Right. You pin me. The eloquence of how Henry speaks about hair. The next little segment is that's a hair fitness girl, the long hair and the long hair is sexy hair if it doesn't just hang there. Rapunzel, mm -hmm. with her hair down past her knee, past the floor, actually, it's just long, long hair for the sake of length. It doesn't balance your body. It doesn't bring out the curves. It doesn't bring out the gorgeousness of the face and the eyes. A too long hair cut yes. in is fantastic. It flows from the, the crown of the head, frames the face, brings out the eyes, brings out the smile. Tapers down to fullness and length at the back, usually somewhere above or below the waist or the middle of the back, depending on the person. And it should balance the body and look appropriate. Just like four inch fingernails doesn't look good on the hand. That's the person who's got them, he loves them for their length. The length for their own sake doesn't work. Length for bringing out the beauty of the form of the person and their personality, that can be fantastic. So it takes the proper tapering, the proper layering, the right fullness and movement in the right places, making sure there's nothing that's thinned out or straggly, make your being looks so fresh and gorgeous, and fall into place without any work. If hair has good condition, this is simply <clears throat> be there and express itself in a beautiful way. If there is a poor condition, then we have to use some products. If it's a bad haircut, we well, need a good one. <laughs> and a good haircut is designed to hold its shape for at least three or four months. It should look good for 90% of that time, at least. A longer specialist loves length that wants it to balance the person. There are some odds that go for the Rapunzel look. And all you want to do is get your hair down to your knees or below. <clears throat> That's not what we are. We're here to make your hair and your body balance and look beautiful together. End of quote. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Love is the acceptance of the true idea related to life and the creation of the magnificence of opportunities and the doing things with due care and consideration. To fulfill is to discriminate, to be one with true purpose, to be mentally alive, to have zero discrimination in the heart, and to do all things with intelligence and to aliveness. We just discussed the concept of courage as being heartage. So when you're a state in a state of fear, you need to enter your heart, which is what courage relates to according to the heart. When you go into your heart, you're fulfilled with love. And that love, as it fulfills you, allows you to wash away the fear and the tension through the concept of crying. 
because crying has the clarity from the sea, the thoroughness of unlimitation from the R, and the activity of ease from the Y. So when one has cried, one has removed and cleansed their heart completely, and that leads to a state of ease. That ease is a peaceful, relaxed state where the tension has been washed away through the tears. That's it. Thank you for listening. If anyone wants to um, have access to that, they can speak to Heather maybe, and she can send them a link, and you can listen to it again many times. Thank you. I need that link. And to please do that afterwards. Um, to share your memories in that way. And we're going to take a moment now and bless the memories that you do have. It is hard to find peace and comfort in the midst of grief, and I know that many of you are grieving in a variety of different ways, especially when it follows the loss of someone so special and so suddenly. But part of finding that peace is knowing that the person that you love isn't gone, but has just gone to a different place. And he still continues, and the essence of who he is carries on close, and to have them nearby, to feel Henry's presence and love with you. And each memory is special, each one that you shared and those that you thought about while other people were sharing, they're special, because they not only tell you about Robert, but they also tell you about who you were in relationship to him, and who you will continue to be. We honor those who have died before us by living our lives to the best possible fullness that we are able to do. Henry contained the very breath and spirit of God as to each and every one of you. And we honor that by continuing forward and by living in that love that he cared so deeply about. I hope that you will feel close to him and feel his close presence and also as you live your life as you spread that love to others you'll know that he's never left you but is always with you after you've written the thoughts on the paper those papers are going to be burned and then in a private time with just his family as they scatter the ashes your memories will be scattered with his ashes so please as this time ends, the formal part of our time ends, make sure that you write something and put it into the box. There's cake of tomato. Just a little bit more about that love and that courage that he cared so deeply about. He was a generous man, absolutely generous, marveled at humanness and, and was just so interested in people. The ultimate person to be cutting and, and doing things with hair because he was such an excellent listener and talker and you really felt like you had his full attention when you were with him. He was concentrating on you. And um, he used to tease me a lot because he used to, I'd walk in and he'd say, are you ready for your new name? And I'd say no and he'd say okay. Um, so, you know, we, we had that constant batter going back and forth. We would share books with each other and conversations. But mostly that great love that great love that we all live in, that we are all called to exist in. Part of the quote that you heard is, is um, and some Jesus, of you may not yes. know this, he, he was quite a biblical student, and he read the Bible. And so That's that quote came, and that, that love is the law that we live in is directly from Scripture. And he believed that Scripture had a lot to teach us. And so I'm going to ask you today to take his word for it, that we live in love. And there's um, a verse in Romans that talks about that if you are in that love, nothing can separate you. To meet the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and certain hope and in the joyful expectation of being reunited with Henry, whom they love. There's mm -hmm. you, Pin Lee, and uh, her sister. I'm now going to read a Jewish litany about remembering George. In the rising of the sun, and in its going down, we remember. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we remember. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember. 
In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember. No, that's her relief. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember. So long as we live, they too shall live. For they are now a part of us as we remember. So you think you're seeing, uh, I invite you to have a moment of silence to pray as you would pray. A long hair dresser, too, right? Mm -hmm. Or a little yeah. short hair. A mono hair dresser. Whatever you call it. But he's made up special to look just like everybody. Yeah, that was just him there passing by. <coughs> That's right, Robert, you busted. Look, he's gone. This is wrong. This yeah. is just so wrong. Robert Jr.'s looking around like. This As is it wrong. is a little chilly here. Look at this guy. There's a place. That Robert loved just down the street called the only place in town. They serve hot beverages. And um, if after you've shared a little bit of here, you can just leave your car and just wander down the street, or there may be parking down there too. But it was a place that he loved, and if you want to keep talking and sharing, it may keep you from going home with um, a chill. So um, that's, that's, that's an opportunity for you if you would like to keep sharing with one another. He really liked that's that. That's Gloria's best friend. Sarah Jane Vasquez? Or that other one? No, the lady in the dark hair. In the sure and certain hope that we will be reunited, we well, commend Henry to this new this journey of love yeah, and life, you find that out? you may bring glory and honor yeah. to this life and the next. Go in peace. Amen. Now there's Robert with his wig and the big heavy set kind of. Yeah, see right there with the shiny jacket, yeah. See, his back of his hair looks exactly like hers. Yeah. That's done up so he can keep long hair in there. Who's this guy? He looks like a He actually looks like a That's for his daughter. That guy looks like a man. That's Robert Kim. Yeah. The back of his hair. Watch your talk away. She knows English. No, 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 no. She knows perfectly. She's talking at the store and everything. It's everybody else who's speaking Chinese.
Okay. Supposedly died, as reported to me. Keiko, who's right there? That's Keiko. She told me that he died a year later. Keiko died too. Yeah, he died, and he had the phone number six two six seven nine five one two seven two. My old business number. She said that. But I was with her. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute lady. She was Everybody there knows that they are being a fraud. Who's she? Who is that? One? And that she had to. Um, Who's that? Who was that one that I pointed out? No, the one before, skipping over damage area. That's uh, Hair Fitness, uh, Jeannie Maxim right. to the right, and Peter Katz to the left. You can't. You can't. You can't. Both from Orange that, County. Don't touch or clean that thing, really. <laughs> Huntington Beach, Orange County. There he is. What's that bright glare? That's not on this side. They show not a flashlight or something. Burn, put a burn in there so that you couldn't get a picture. <gasps> That's what it is. That's Mr. Cerise's husband on the right. The chef. Really? Okay, so... Where's that? Uh, he lived in, uh, let's see, there. Uh, Everybody here. Everybody here. here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody Who's this from here? That's, now that's uh, Becky George and. Uh, I think she was an ex uh, um, employee. She looks just like an ex employee. That's it. Okay, kill it. Lights. That's revealing. Where's the... You're on full screen. Okay. How long was that? I don't know. It's like a fucking hour. Huh? Yeah. 